Hello everyone and welcome to my next video for Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia where I'm going to be jumping back into Dimensions End Entropy and we're going to be taking on Tier 3 this time. Um, so I'm recording this after the release of Ishtola and I did actually make a couple of changes and I have been able to complete Tier 5 uh, without a Dispeller. I do not recommend this course of action, in fact I would highly recommend that if you don't have Faris then you wait until Balthier or Vanille get here and I'm just noticing that for some reason there's some extremely glitchy graphics up here, my emulator is awesome. Um, but yeah, basically I don't recommend this, I just wanted to see if I could do it because I was curious about Squall for the longest time um, and I wanted to get him maxed out. I can't say that I regret it, but I can't say that it's a good idea either, honestly, it just it is what it is. I'll get to that when I get onto my tier 5 video. Um, I went back onto 4 and I did it with Ishtol and Lena. Uh, but anyway, we're going to be taking on tier 3 this time, and for this one, in my opinion, it is the best stage to bring Ultimecia on, because it has... Um, it's, it's a neutral stage, so it doesn't have phys physical or magic resist, um, and they don't resist debuffs, uh, I mean, tier 4 is all single target waves, and tier 5 is all multi-target waves, which would be perfect for ulti if it wasn't for the fact that they all resist magic, so it's a physical only stage. Uh, so tier 3 at the moment is definitely the, be uh, the best place for ulti. Maybe you can bring her into some later tiers when we get some more characters, but for now, definitely use ulti on tier 3. Um, and I've got her backed up by Sarah and Rem, and I'm bringing Remu as a summon. Uh, the reason for that, of course, is that Sarah brings like 100% worth of attack buffs if you've got her perfect artifacts and Rem gives another 70% um, on her aura as well so we're going to be absolutely have attack out the wazoo so I just want to have Remu to give as much max bravery as possible to give like some breathing room you know for the amount of you know the cataclysmic amounts of damage you're going to be doing and also there's a secondary reason and it's that this Kraken in the final wave is actually weak to uh, to lightning, um, so that definitely helps when you're setting up the summon train and you're going to be summoning, uh, you're going to be spamming Hell's Judgments in the summon. Um, that helps you do as much damage as you as you can, because honestly, screw the Tiamat, it's really annoying, and screw the Marilith, she is a pain if you don't deal with her properly. Anyway, um, without further ado, I will quickly um, I'll remove my perfect on the stage. Yep, there we go. Okay. I'm uh, in it to win it now. Let's uh, bring back Ulti and Ram and Sarah. Okay, so here we are. So my Ultimecia um, does indeed have uh, perfect passives. Um, I have actually, as you, as some of you may notice, I've actually given her another sphere, and I, the the A sphere I've given her is actually from Kuja's EX, EX Plus. It's mighty all range, and what this does is it increases bravery damage dealt by group brave attacks by ten percent. Every attack that Ulti uses is a group bravery attack. Her bravery, uh, her maelstrom, her brave plus is is hits all enemies. Her HP plus plus hits all enemies. Her skill one actually counts towards this as well because she targets multiple enemies. You know, basically everything she does is going to see some damage improvement from that so I thought it was a good idea to give it to her because honestly I've got these spheres in my inventory and I'm not using them on like anyone you know and, and I'm just like well I, I really probably should use them because even if I can get away without using them at the same time, it's kind of like well if I have them why wouldn't I use them you know for that little extra boost it's the it's the it's the elixir syndrome, isn't it? Because you want to save it for when it's going to be useful, but if you don't use it, then it's never useful. So that's that's what I'm going with on Ulti. I've not actually made up my mind yet whether I'm going to give her like a max bravery um, passive on her second slot, or whether I'm going to give her more damage. Um, I've not, I've really not decided yet, so I'm just going to sit on that for the time being. Because at the moment, I don't think she needs more damage if you use her in the right team. Um, but in the future, she might possibly benefit more from uh, attack passives than she would from like max bravery passives, you know what I mean? So anyway, um, my Sarah is fully sorted, thank god. I never have to do this again. And my Rem is pretty much as she was before. So she's almost perfect, you know. I've given up farming for her because I just don't want to spend any more time or resources on it. So she has almost perfect attack and almost perfect max bravery. It's good enough, you know what I mean? It's good enough. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's jump into it. <clears throat> okay, so we want to go C, so we'll go A, yeah, let's, let's break C, last in the order. Did 
I'm not gonna worry about people telling me. In fact, you know what? I'll toss a wind on me over here. <clears throat> what should I do here? You know what? I'll uh. I'll swap turns with Sarah first. So we can get the Moonlight buffs up. And. yeah. We just HP here. Sarah can. Sarah can suck it. She doesn't have enough bravery to do anything. What the hell? I'm not using a skill here. You can go to hell. <laughs> I'm just gonna like, attack C. Good enough. So I am going to use uh, Cure on Ulti so that we get a little bit of battery and we also get the auras going. Oh, look at that beautiful amount. 50k damage just from a, a simple HP plus plus. I love it. Ulti sub busted. Yeah, yeah, Ultimate Aura, why not? I really hate that. Ah oh, well, Ulti's got max stacks now anyway. Need to pop the wound on Sarah. She's about to, her buff was about to run out. And with Rem, whenever we can do Siphon Delta, absolutely do Siphon Delta, you get a free skill, it's just, you know, why wouldn't you do that? Uh, let's see here. So I'm not going to waste time doing a Protein Swords with Ulti because she doesn't have the Max Bravery buffs on yet. Um, well, she does have one from Sarah, you know what I mean, but it's not, it's not that great. So I'm actually going to try and focus the Marilith down because it's by far the most dangerous one of the two. So we've got a free skill here with Ram, uh, so let's get that buff on the, on the ulti here. And it's time to pop the Protein Swords. I mean, look at that damage that we're doing. That is really hard to argue with that level of damage, you know what I mean? And of course! Ulti gets her buffs wiped out. I'm gonna give her another swap turns. We're gonna pop the moonlight here so Ulti gets her buffs back. So it's time for a Siphon Delta, but it's also time I'm gonna pop a CS65. And I would love to pop us here, I'd love to pop Sarah's, but we're about to run out of the max bravery buffs, so I'm just going to uh, I'm gonna use Ultimate Arrow here so we do as much damage as possible with the with the sexual skill. And then Ulti is gonna go to town. I don't know what this debuff is on Ulti, but... Oh, it's Doom. Okay, well, whatever. We don't care about that. <laughs> Are you serious? That's really interesting. Okay. I will give a swap tins to Sarah. And... Yeah, you know what? I'll pop one of these. Where were we? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> Protein swords. I did not. I didn't realize that Doom actually had that interaction. That's really interesting. Okay, 
Okay, so so Rem will be unbroken here. And will apparently be the only one to be unbroken. If I use bravery, uh, if I use HP plus plus here, it should be enough because we've got the sap effect going on as well. There we go. No worries. Get that attack up buff going for ulti again. So ulti meteor really makes this stage much easier than it would be if you didn't have her because, well, I mean, obviously she makes every stage much easier. Um, but I can I can quite solidly say that I've tried to actually beat this without her, and it is considerably more difficult as you as you might expect. So I'm actually just going to HP plus plus here. Mm, what do I do? So we've got a free turn here with we've got a free skill with Rem, but I'm actually going to have to use Cure um, because the attack is about to run out. And this will also give Ultimacy enough battery not to get broken. So that's really nice. Uh, I'm definitely going to Moonlight here because we've got a, a free launch going on. So we've got a Roiling Flame coming in hot from Marilith over here. Um, this thing is quite dangerous because it starts spamming, uh, like it gets a lot of buffs and it sp starts spamming HP attacks after that, so that's definitely a threat to watch out for. I'm actually just going to pop swap turns on the on ulti over here. Um, and I am going to... I'm gonna use a protein swords, but I'm gonna use it on. Uh, I'm gonna use it on A over here because I want to spread out the damage a little bit, and we still do a lot of damage anyway. You know what I mean? Oh, and that actually delayed it into using Call the Abyss, which is even better. That's 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 really awesome. So pop wound on Sarah, push off some of those buffs, hopefully. And I'm actually just going to, um, we, we still have the buffs on ulti, right? Yeah, so I'm just going to HP plus on the Marilth over here to, uh, to save uh, the EX. Okay, um, I'm actually just going to Bravery Plus, because we've got a lot of poison going on, and I know that Rem's EX is charged, because that's that's fine, that death code is fine. I'm just going to HP Plus Plus on A. You don't want to go too heavy on skills, you know, because I know that Rem, goddess that she is, can completely shave all this down and get rid of B in the process. 
Excellent. Meanwhile, Sarah can battery very nicely right there. Now I'm actually going to save this ultimate arrow. I don't particularly want to use it. So we can get by with just HP attacks here. But I do need to use a skill with Ultimisha, otherwise she's going to run out of Maleficium. Like right here. So unfortunately I have no choice but to use Protein Swords here. I really didn't want to, but we must not let the stacks fall off because that is just bad news if you do that. Really do not want that to happen. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to HP plus on on A over here because uh, Sarah has her EX, which does 100% AOE damage. And I'm not going to pop Apocalypse until I get onto the next wave. I'm not going to use Siphon Delta either. Excellent. So Sarah really needs to use Wound Plus and Red needs to Cure sometime soon as well. Okay, these two things. So we do have the Max Bravery buffs going on. We don't have... we do have Max Bravery buff. Uh, we only have one turn worth of attack buff, but that's fine. They've not propped their invisible buffs yet. And the critical hits will inflict the defense down because I've got the spear. So that procs uh, Sarah's aura as well, so that's really nice. So honestly, I'm not sure which one I would say is the bigger threat here. To be honest, I'm probably going to go try and do some burst damage. Um, okay, with this free turn... I'm actually going to battery. I'm actually going to do swap turns with Ulti, and Ulti is not going to use Apocalypse. Actually, is she? You know what I mean? Uh, she's got. Yeah, she's got. She's got this. I'll do another Apocalypse. The problem is that the Tiamat on the left hand side, uh, B, actually uses um, uses a skill called Maelstrom, which will t reduce everyone's bravery to one and wipe out everyone's buffs, which is. Exactly as nasty as it sounds, and not something you want to have to deal with, really. Um, let's use a skill here. Just the one, though. And I'm gonna pop this. I'm actually just gonna use a Maelstrom. I don't know what A is about to eat. Well, we'll all get broken anyway, won't we, by B, so, I mean, that's fine, that's whatever. So it wipes away all generic buffs, does Maelstrom. It sets everyone's bravery to 1, and then this is going to break everyone, and then B is going to, uh, going to do its charge attack, which is... Amazingly, awesomely good. So I can't really, um, like my my aura is about to fall off here. So let's swap to Ultimisia, and I'm going to use Maelstrom because of the gravity effect. Okay. 
let's think here. Let's use our all advance. And use moonlight. So I could go into summon a new Siphon Delta straight away, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Ultimate is not ready anyway. Now is the now is the time. So we use Cure on Ulti to refresh the aura. So we still have the attack buffs. And Ulti can go to town. Oh look at that damage. I'll never get tired of seeing that amount of damage. It is magical. Quite impressive. We're still doing nine thousand to the to the tier amount on the other side as well. I kind of didn't expect that. Launch on both of them. <laughs> That's kind of funny. So I don't particularly want to use my other hell's judgment here because that will kind of leave ulti slightly useless. Sarah's not going to do very much with that EX anyway. So what I'll do is this. And then I will use sort of turns and pulsy. Let's use Ultimate Arrow on A because it's broken, so we'll do a little bit more damage. Hmm. <laughs> How do we finish this? I'm just going to attack B. You know what? Let's just use it. Okay, there we go. Ulti did not want to get her EX at the end there. 
she charges it so fast when you use skills, but if you just keep swapping turns to her, then nah, not happening. Anyway, there we go. That's going to be my complete of tier 3 of Dimensions and Entropy. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope that um, gave you possibly some ideas with uh, with team comps and so on. And at least it gives you an idea of what to watch out for. Although it doesn't, because Ultimecia and Ren are so disgusting together that they can just kind of clean house before the enemies have much of a chance to do anything. But I do know that Tiamat seriously likes to spam brave HP attacks, like it has a jet stream attack, which is just awful if you get broken with it. Um, to be honest, I've been playing around with Ishtola some as well, and I. I think I like Rem more than I like Ishtola because Ishtola is great for longevity, but if you need to clear a stage like fast and you want to skip the mechanics, then Rem is just more turn efficient. As long as you've got someone with a good HP plus, like like Ulti for example, and she gives more attack aura as well. But maybe my opinion will change the more I play around with her. But anyway, um, that's uh, that's a different matter entirely. So thanks everyone for watching, and until the next video, take care and goodbye.